Okay, let's pick up here. First thing I want to do is I want to look at our uh, outline assignment from last week. So I think we're going to uh, jump over here. And we have a whiteboard in the room now. So we can use the whiteboard to look at our assignment. Remember our assignment from last week was to do the outline in detail, right? That's okay. So, so I want you to go up to the whiteboard and draw the outline. So let's see if we can get uh, who would like to, any volunteers? Does anybody volunteer to do it? Nobody volunteer, right? I answered the wrong one. I gave the ice cream. Now, the ice cream was the week before. I think you were absent that week, right? There was one week you weren't here, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so why don't we get a... Let's ask Bo to come on up first. And Bo, why don't you just use the, the pen there on the whiteboard, and you can draw on that. Okay, remember the assignment was to look at a process like the noodles. So I think the idea was if you had to explain this to someone who had never, ever eaten instant noodles or prepared instant noodles before, how would you explain that? That's the key point, right? So when you make your presentation, the key is how do you present and when the people are finished listening to you, when your presentation is done, do they remember a key point, right? Do they remember the key point? Okay, while we're waiting for Bo then, let me ask uh, Alice. Alice, what was the hardest part of preparing for your presentation? What was the hardest part preparing for your presentation? What was the hardest part? What was the hardest part? So when you look at your presentation, you think that was the part that you did not do well, not relaxed? Not relaxed. Mm-hmm. Not enough body language. And so, for your next presentation, do you have any ideas how you can change that? During the presentation. How will you get ready to do that before the presentation? Practice. (laughs) (laughs) Practice. Okay, so practice, of course, is key, right? But maybe not practice, like practice how to do exactly, not that kind of practice, but maybe practice like just relaxing with each other and you share the information. You know what I mean? Not practice like memorize exactly what you say, but practice in the sense of when you present, if something happens, everyone feels comfortable because it's not the first time. See what I mean? Right? I think that would be that would be helpful, a helpful way. So practice. I hate to use the word practice. It sounds too it sounds like you're memorizing things too much. Maybe I mean what do I mean? Familiarize. Familiarization, maybe, is what I mean. Get familiar, comfortable. I think the, when the air conditioning was turned off, <laughs> the silence made us nervous. Yeah, well, that's a good point. That's a good point. And when you go to make a presentation, even if the audience is small, once you begin, everyone becomes silent. <laughs> it's scary. 
<laughs> right? It's, everybody could be talking, and then you begin, everyone's quiet. Maybe next time, teacher, you can say three, two, one, action. No. <laughs> because you said, it's like a movie. <laughs> because because uh, you said, uh, when you, okay, you can go. But so nervous. <laughs> I, I stand up there for three or five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nervous. So, so if I if I tell you go, then you can do it. Three, go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? I think that wouldn't be better. It wouldn't be better for me. Give me a heart attack. All right. Yeah. Usually, presentation you begin whenever you're ready. Nobody forces you to begin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Celia, what do you think about? When you look at your presentation, what do you think was the hardest part for you? Memorizing all the things. Yeah, so um, yeah. what do you think you'll do to help that? Next time, maybe I, I'll practice, uh, do my practice with all my slides. Hmm. Yeah, because we, when we look at the slides, there and actually we are not controlling our slides in the screen or in the screen so I think we I, I should not practice with the slide I should practice with all the slide yeah okay practice without the slide yeah. not with the slide so if you practice without the slide then what you're practicing is just the flow of the presentation yeah. I think that's a good idea and so that's a similar point. You want to practice, but not practice memorizing. You want to practice to feel comfortable yeah. with the information. And like I said, I think you guys have a hard topic. Now, actually, when we talk about finance, it's all going to be very similar, not so, not so hard as the introduction. Okay. All right. Don't, don't go away. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let's look at the slides here. A video with the slides. Okay, I can zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Okay, Bo's going to tell us about her slides there. So, why don't you go through step by step and tell us? And everybody, watch Bo's uh, slides here. Go ahead. Okay. Um, trying to how to cook instant noodles for who never have experience to cook, and so the step one, the people will feel hungry and want to try the new product in the market and uh, step two how did how did how do they do? Like you can go to the convenience store and make a this de decision of the trace, the trade and brand of the instant noodle and choose one and you can buy the vegetable or egg or what is what that you want to put in so that's like extra though, right? Those are extra things, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the step the step T um explains about how to cook. The first one, uh boiling the water and waiting until what water is boiled. And chia seasoning, that's the uh as they have in the house of instant noodle and pour it in raw water and then waiting until raw again mm -hmm. and put the instant noodle and vegetable egg or extra nutrition and wait until three minutes. Uh, three minutes please come from the instruction of the Dustin house and so after that into a bowl and they it. Okay. All right. I look at your steps, and I think my feedback would be um, the details look right, but, but I think it's a little bit boring. <laughs> However, at the end, at the end, it looks like enjoy is a, is a goal. So maybe rather than how to cook instant noodles, maybe this is something more about enjoy. And so if at the beginning you could say something about enjoy, 
And especially your step two looks like enjoy something because your step two is extra stuff, right? These are not just the normal noodles. These are the, you, add, you can add things to it. So your outline is correct in detail, but it's not exciting and interesting in any way. And the main point is lost. So technically good, but misses kind of that idea until the end, at the very end. And remember, for our presentations, the end is too late because people already fall asleep. We want to get at the beginning, right? At the very beginning. Okay? All right. Well, thank you, Bo. Very good. So let's uh, ask, how about Amber? Amber, can you show us your outline for the instant noodles? Thank you. Okay, and while we're waiting for Amber, then I can ask uh, Eric. Eric, so looking at your presentation, what do you think is the area that gave you the most trouble, or what do you think was the hardest about your presentation? Um, I think maybe a lot of uh, psychological barriers. Psychological, uh, psychological bar barriers. Physical, <laughs> physical barriers. Physical barriers, because such I, as? Uh, since I was a child, I'm, I'm a, a hyper, hyperactive ch children. Uh -huh. I have to take some medicine. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I always lose control. <laughs> so maybe I have to always be calm down. And, and my partner had to... Get more excited. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I had... I have to prepare some medicine for, for them <laughs> and make them more excited yeah. and, yeah. and have, have, have to be more confident. Yeah. Well, um, well, I think uh, that's okay, but I, like I say, I thought your approach of being something different was good. That was interesting. That was a good thing. The problem was it wasn't clear what the point was. You see what I mean? So when, you're the, when you said, I pretend I'm the president of the company, the question is, but what does that tell us? Right? What's the main goal? What's the main point? Right? So for Starbucks, obviously the main thing to get somebody interested would be to begin with something like about consuming coffee or enjoying yourself or relaxing. Right? So just like Netflix, the way the Netflix group began with this idea of don't you want to watch what you want to watch anytime, anywhere, right? You could begin that way too. Don't you want to have a relaxing time and have quality uh, uh, coffee to enjoy yourself, to have your personal time? And then explain to us how do you get that? How does Starbucks do that, you see? So I don't think that you're too hyper. I think that your, your energy was actually interesting and good. It's just that the point was not clear. Right? The point was not clear. So I don't have to see a doctor. <laughs> no, you don't have to see a doctor today. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're going to look at Amber's here. Give her a point there. Okay. Almost done. Zoom in a little bit here. Okay, Amber starting out with this uh, lucky or unlucky, right? That's interesting. Okay, now Amber has uh, three main points and this is a good contrast to Bo's because Bo's was her Bo's number one level topics were the steps, the procedure, first step one, second step two, sec, uh, third step three, right? Um, maybe you can add a Y there. Amber, add a Y to lucky and unlucky. So it should be lucky or unlucky, not luck or unluck, right? <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to look at Amber's answers to the uh, instant noodle assignment. And we begin by lucky, unlucky. So Amber, go ahead. Introduce us to your idea. Uh, the first, I, I feel hungry. Is it, uh, wake up, uh, but uh, when I wake up, nobody at home. I feel very hungry, so how can I do? I go to 7 Eleven. I see a lot of food, uh, pasta, bread, egg, pork. Oh, I think I can buy a lot of food. But what when I see my pasta? Oh, only have $18. So I check $18 food. I think I can eat maybe really jajangmyeon. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, I think this part is unlucky because I only have $80. When I go home, I eat. I put a hot water in a noodle. When I swim in it, I think, oh, only I eat noodle, it's very poor. So when I eat, ooh, happiness, I think about my childhood memory. I think I'm very lucky. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. That's uh, interesting. Okay, so in Amber's outline, Amber emphasizes number one at the beginning, she talks about. Uh, lucky or unlucky. So she's talking about, I'm going to tell you something and the result has this main point. So that's a good thing about Amber's uh, outline. It has a clear main point. She begins at the beginning with a clear point and at the end she has the clear point again. Right? Another thing I like is when Amber was just talking, when she was just talking, she got to the pay money part. And when she got to the pay money part, she said, ah, well, I don't have any money. I only have $18. So this is a good example how each section, feel hungry, pay money, um, what's that last one say? Eating, yes, consuming it, eating it, okay? So these three sections, each one of these, when Amber told us, she got excited about something, you see? And that's the way your presentation should be. It has these main parts, and then inside the main part, maybe you say something like, so I go to 7-Eleven, I look, I see they have one, two, three things, and then I'm going to buy something, and whoa, oh, I have no money. So this is the way that we do our presentation. We slow down, then something main point comes up. Then we slow down, then a main point comes up. So I like the way you presented that just now. That was a good job. And then at the end, she says, and then you put it together, you put the hot water, you do this three minutes, and then I'm happy and I remember I'm lucky. So I like the way you did that. That's very good. All right. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. And then how about, uh, how about we get um, Kevin? You want to show us yours? That'll be the last one for today. Okay, in a minute we're going to look at some more video examples and then after our video example we're going to uh, go over our chapter number two and then after that then we'll finish our class and then we need to make sure we have a schedule for next week. So please uh, talk together and figure out what your schedule is. Just like last week, if you want to come earlier or later it's okay, but we need to just get a schedule. It would be best if we can get them group together so I can open the room and we all just come in and do one after another, okay? Okay, I'm going to pause this here.